Hello everyone, it's Phil here. Welcome to another YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can legally obtain Amiga ROMs. So if you want to play with some Amiga emulators, you will need the ROMs. So you need to purchase Amiga forever and look at the price. It's $30. However, just go for the value edition. There are differences and you can uh, check out. It tells you all, all about that in, on the website. The main difference is that you don't get all the other uh, ROM files. You basically get version 1.3. However, that's the most important one. Around 70% of all the Amiga games will work with that. So after you've purchased it and I've downloaded the installation file on the desktop, we're just going to install it. Okay, here we are. And this is what the interface looks like where you've got your games demos but we need to use the systems tab and the system we're going to use and you can see which ones work the ones that are ready they are compatible with the value edition the other ones you have to buy are one of the more expensive version so we right click on workbench 1.3 and we go to configuration and we just make sure that the amiga 500 is set and that the rom is set to version 1.3 then we go to media and we change the disk to Workbench 1.35, the hard disk image. Now in order, what we're gonna do is we will extract the ROM from the emulator and dump it onto a shared folder. In order to share a folder, and I'm gonna use just a USB, uh, USB stick, I'm gonna create a blank folder, just gonna call it Amiga and then over here, we go to add and we select directory and we click here and we navigate to my USB stick to the Amiga folder. Press OK. OK, that's all good to go. Press OK. We're not going to run it just yet. We are missing one more step. We need an actual utility to extract the uh, ROM chip and put it into a uh, uh, BIOS file, a ROM file. And luckily, Amiga Forever ships with that utility. So we're just going to open another window and we go to C drive, program files, x86. If you've got a 64 bit Windows, then we go into this folder, Cloento, Amiga Forever. Follow that link, Amiga files, shared Amiga utility. And we grab this one, the trans ROM, and paste it in here. Okay, we can cross it off. We go back to our emulator and let's launch it. There we go. So we're now inside the emulator. And if we click on our, this is the shared folder on our Amiga, there's nothing there. And that's a, a limitation if there are no icons, basically, it won't show the files. On newer Workbench versions, uh, you can, um, actually there's a workaround, but because we've got the cheaper version, uh, we can't use a more, a higher Workbench version. So what we need to do is use the shell. So just a bit of typing involved, but otherwise it's fairly straightforward. And the command we have to type in is Amiga colon and then transrom. Put a space in there, the greater symbol, another space, and then Amiga colon. And then we just pick a file name. Let's call it um, kick13.rom. Press enter. And the file should now appear on the right hand side. Let me just do a refresh. There it is, kick1.3.rom. It's a 512 kilobyte file. And you can now copy that file and use it with all the other um, Amiga emulators out there. So you don't have to use the Amiga Forever anymore because um, although it's got a nice interface, it hasn't got a lot of the options, but it's only 10 bucks and look, um, if you want to support the Amiga, look, that's one way of doing this and you have a legal copy of the of the Kickstart ROM and why not? So if you enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful, hit that like button. 
do subscribe to my channel. I'll do all sorts of videos and any feedback and questions and comments, just leave them down below. Thanks for watching.